Hey, Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about perils. And just what is a peril, if you've ever heard that term. Uh, now, in some people, parts of the country, they may say peril. And that's sort of like something that you wear around your neck or you have peril earrings. Well, in this case, we're saying peril. And that is P-E-R-I-L. And that is an incident that happens that then causes damage to your property that the insurance company will recognize. And when it has happened within certain conditions, they will pay on it. Well, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? But that's, that's a, a peril is, is what you're covered against. That's what the insurance company protects you from. What are some of the examples of perils? Well, of course, wind, lightning, rain, uh, smoke. There's uh, a, a, a pipe freezing. There's tons of, of different situations that go on. And, and this is, uh, well, vandalism, burglary. These are all perils. And these are things that we as public adjusters on a daily basis help owners, homeowners with when they've had damage due to one of these perils. So guys, I just wanted to let you know that a, a what, what a definition of a peril was. That is some insurance lo, uh, lingo. And uh, the policy will actually go into those details and talk about that. Uh, believe it or not, I can't really say I've ever seen in any policies where it talks about a zombie apocalypse. But there is a policy, that, a, a better policy, that says that if it doesn't state that it's not covered, then it, it is. So perhaps a zombie apocalypse may be covered. I don't know. I, I don't really want to comment on that. I think that's more of a fun thing that the insurance company does when they do that one commercial. But what I will tell you, in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, let's throw in Maryland too. You are absolutely covered for volcanic eruption. How about that? I bet you didn't know that, did you? That's right. The insurance company's got your back. You are covered for volcanic eruption. So that's one thing I did want to point out to you. Guys, that's you know the wacky world of insurance. It can come back and really bite you hard. On the other hand, it can back and get you scratching your head like crazy, like, I can't believe this just happened. As a public adjuster, it is our responsibility, our obligation to help you through the claim process to make sure you are paid fairly on your damage that you've just suffered from whatever peril that was. If you need any help, please, I, I would ask you to reach out to me, Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. If you like what you heard, guys, would you give me one of these? If you would, would you share this? Share this with others. Let them know about this. I'm sure they want to know about that zombie apocalypse and the volcanic eruption. I, I think we'll have a lot of people sleeping a lot better at night knowing that that's taken care of. Uh, guys, please subscribe to my uh, channel and have yourselves an absolutely fantastic day. God bless you.